head bar manager here at uh, Colton Gray in Denver, Colorado. And I'm going to actually make one of my favorite absinthe cocktails you've seen in Trinity Absinthe uh, called the Penache Cocktail. A uh, really old school Parisian drink. Essentially, it turns into an absinthe julep. So, we're going to start with some ice, fill up our Lewis bag here. Um, you can throw it in a blender or in an old sock, I guess, or anything that's just kind of clean and fabric, and whack it around with a mallet to get some nice crushed ice. It's easy to understand why bartenders these days obsess about ice because it really is sort of our cooktop in the same way that a kitchen sees the range, you know, and their stove is their way of, you know, transforming food. Ice is the way we transform spirits into cocktails. So we've now got some lovely crushed ice here for this julep. And we take some nice mint that's been shocked. Just give it a nice little smack in our hands to open it up. You really don't want to muddle it or crush it too much. There's enough bitterness, sort of already pleasant, uh, in the absence, so it's not necessarily necessary. You just want a little bit of that mint, so we want to treat it fairly delicately. And then just a, about a half a teaspoon of a really rich uh, two to one simple syrup. Um, it's not necessarily that this drink needs to be sweet, but we need that sugar to carry over those flavors. So as we chill down a cocktail, it's important to remember that sugar is a great flavor, uh, flavor delivery vehicle. And then an ounce and a half of our absinthe. To which we're going to add crushed ice. about three quarters of the way full and just kind of fold the ice in there. Get everything to mix evenly. And you'll see, you know, as you're sort of looking into it, that the absinthe will start to loose and break color as the oils come out of solution. Once that starts to happen, we can actually start to add more ice on top. Really get it packed in there so that the cup will frost over nicely. And we'll basically be left with a nice absent snow cone. Take a couple of our heads of mint that we've reserved. Inside. That way, when you uh, go ahead and drinking the drink, there your nose in that mint, and wonderful, refreshing experience.